Center Street in downtown Fernandina Beach is lined with historical gems. Here is the Florida House Inn, restored from 1857. This is the courthouse that's been standing since 1891. In Memorial United Methodist, one of Florida's oldest churches, was built in 1822. But this building, the Palace Saloon, is unique. It's the oldest tavern in all of Florida. On a typical Saturday, the palace is filled with people of various ages enjoying drinks, pool, and live music. Curtis Brown's been coming in here for the last 30 years. Just, I always knew about it, and it, when I thought I could get away with it, I thought I'd kind of start maybe sneaking in about a year after I was out of high school. Priscilla Gonzalez is originally from Costa Rica and loves visiting the palace anytime she's in town. Um, the palace is definitely somewhere I like to come, um, not only because of like the cool building that it is and the old 19th century saloon look that they still try to keep, but um, it's got a really cool dancing club in one of the bars. Team Peterson is the archivist at the Amelia Island Museum of History. She says that the palace began as a hangout for sea officers. Originally catered to captains. I mean, Fernandina was the major seaport, seaport at times. There were probably more than 300 ships in the harbor here, which is just hard to imagine. Pretty rough town back then. Johnny Miller bartends for the palace, and he had many stories about the opening of the tavern as well. And there are about 30 bars up and down the street. Most of them are pretty rough. People are nervous to go out. So this idea was to create a palace or somebody, you had to be somebody. To, you'd have millionaires, the Carnegie's, the Rockefeller's, they all hung out here. And then sitting right next to them is a the guy working on a shrimp boat. Wes Sheffield bought the business in 2009. He was surprised to find it was for sale and didn't hesitate to take ownership of the palace. You know, the, this place provides an opportunity for tremendous history. Many, 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 many people uh, from 80 to 21 have told me that they had their first legal drink in the Palace Saloon, and that was part of them being here and being, you know, a Fernandinian, you know, I guess a Fernandinian, for lack of another term. Is. Sheffield admires the history behind his bar and kept it as close to the original saloon as he could. The way it was, they have moved the original gas lamp from outside to inside to, to maintain its stability. Uh, but uh, the fans are original from uh, 1908. Uh, the, uh, uh, the bar obviously was installed, so we really wanted to keep the nostalgia of, of what was original to the, to the palace, the original, so that you know whether you were here 100 years ago or you're here today, it's the same thing. Back in the early 1900s, the palace was a place for only high-end clientele. But now, with the new pool tables, big screen TVs, and even a nightclub, it appeals to a wide age range. Nikki Barnes has been a regular guest for years and thinks it's the best place in Fernandina to have a So, um, I've been coming here for, you know, five years now, and it's been a staple, I think, in this town, just because it is the oldest bar in Fernandina. Um, there aren't that many bars that can stand up to this place, and um, I think that, you know, you can come here, you can play pool, you can dance, listen to live music, it's an open, an open atmosphere. Though Florida's oldest saloon may sound like something you'd see in an old western, the palace has adapted to the fast-paced entertainment industry of the 21st century without losing sight of where it started. Bethany Green, Inside Jacksonville.